everybody, this is Chad from CBW Farms coming at you, and we are still at it. I am disking the last of the corn stalks for the year. I don't know if I'll quite get this finished. Ah, I'll probably get this finished yet tonight, but it, it goes faster than you think. But this ain't nice and dark out. See the neighbor's yard lights way ahead of us there. And I'm kind of heading up a hill right now. Uh, these stalks are a little bit thinner than the last field that I did. This is a little bit lighter soil, that's all it is. So, but uh, we did do a bunch of work to the disc again yesterday and today. I don't know if you can kind of see in that area all the new black disc blades right there. There's eight new blades and there's a new arbor bolt, which is a long bolt that goes all the way through the section of uh, blades, I guess. And uh, nice and he heavy metal, I guess you would call it. So, yeah, I guess we've been kind of working on this and got everything going again and looks like it's doing a nice job. It might be hard to tell behind us and in the dark like this. And there's a reflection off the monitor, so it's really hard to tell what it looks like really beside us. Um, I got to lift up a little bit here because we're kind of on a hilltop right now. And as you can see, there's not a lot of thick corn stalks here. So these will go through the mulch finisher just fine next spring. And this being some light ground on top of a hill, we don't want it to blow any more than, you know, than it has to. And now I can put the disc back down again. And, and yes, we do have trees in our field in Iowa too. Not very often, not very many places, but we do have a little tree patch in the middle of this field. But it is what it is. Like I said, it's not the, not the best ground, but it's okay. I mean, nothing wrong with it either. It drains good on a wet year. This is a can be one of the best farms, but a dry year like this year, it wasn't the best farm, let's put it that way. But yeah, so we are still plugging away. Like I said, hopefully we can get the last of the ripping done tomorrow. Mark will probably finish that while I uh, start on bean stubble. And I'll get that started and got a lot of that to go. All of our bean acres will pretty much do do all of that, I guess. And yeah, and they're talking rain tomorrow night. So I'm gonna continue on through with this for as long as I can anyway, and, and see what happens, I guess. So uh, I do have the GPS on. Like I said, I can show this because all it is is just my GPS lines. And you wouldn't be able to see it down here, but this button right here, you gotta push every time you turn. Like on the combine, when you put the head down, it automatically goes. But this one, you actually gotta push a button. So you do have to feel for it every once in a while. Uh, here's your shifter here, throttle up here, I'm full throttle right now, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you a little bit more of the disking, and yeah, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon I will be getting you a video out on some of the bean snubble. I will raise the disc, I got the disc going fairly deep here, about as deep as I can go with it to bury as much of the, the residue as I can out here, but Right. With that being said, I think I will leave you all for the night. Maybe I'll catch you in a stream here later on. I know you probably can't see me, but I'm here. Hi. <laughs> if you like the video, hit that thumbs up anyway. And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. And I will catch you on the next one. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Love you all. Bye-bye.